Good day and welcome back to Zero to Hero in Python programming. Today we'll be discussing Python data types. So basically we divided the data types into two. So we have data Python data type part one, Python data type part two. So today we'll be treating the part one. In future tutorials, we'll treat the part two of this tutorial. So basically today we'll be treating integers, float point, and string data types. So what are Okay, integers. Integers are just count numbers. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to infinity. Then negative count numbers. That is minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to inf minus infinity. Then 0. Those are the count numbers. Then we have float point numbers. What do I mean by float point number? These are numbers between two integers. So we can have 1.0, 1.1, 1.111, 1.112, 1 1 like that, like that, in between two integers. So those are floats. So basically, in layman term, float numbers are numbers with decimal place. So that those are just integers with decimal place. Then strings. Strings are text. That is, we have to quote them actually. If you see here, to represent a string, we have to use either a single quote or a double quote. So that's how to represent string. But basically, a string can be a number, it can be a float and the likes like that. But once you quote it, it becomes a string type. So we'll, you'll see that as we go on. So what's, I mean, we are go, moving on to string concatenation and replication. What do I mean by string concatenation and replication? That's just how to add two strings together or how to replicate that is how to okay something like repeating a string over and over again that's replication so concatenating two strings if you were in our class yesterday that's um, calculations in python you understand that this addition sign here is what we use to add two things together in python so if we add two strings together here that's abbas plus olaya to give us abbas olaya but mind you there's no space between abbas and olaya so if you want to have a space between them what you just need to do is what you basically need to do is just write uh, Abbas, then plus, then before you write the Olaya, you put space, then Olaya. So by the time you run this, you have Abbas space Olaya. So that's that on string, conc uh, string concatenation. Then can you concatenate a string with a integer? It's not possible. So here, if we run this, it will give us an error. If we want to concatenate a string with an integer, what we need to do is, we first convert, I mean, we, go, we can only add two, two strings together. I will teach you how to convert integer to string as we move on. But if you want to do something like that here, basically what you need to do is just do a bus. Oh, I need to code the a bus. Plus quote the 45 to 45 so these are two strings so you can concatenate them together then here this is where we do the replication so a bus times five we just repeat a bus in five places that's basically what we mean by replication if we do a bus sorry oh, i've added a new line here okay let me just add a new line here so if we do a bus i'm oh, sorry let me just quote that if you want to have space between them, we just put space in front of this. Oh, sorry, I didn't put time multiplied multiplied by let's say five. Then we have a bus, a bus, a bus in five places. That's that. But mind you, there will be space at the end. I will treat you. I will teach you string formatting as we proceed in this tutorials, but not in today's tutorial actually. So we can't replicate a string by a string. For example, a bus times olaya. That's that does not make any sense so this will just generate an error in that we can't we can only multiply we can only replicate a string in a number of integers so and again you can multiply a string by a float the reason why it's for example on a normal day you should do about times five but here it's a float so it's assuming for example 5.1 how would you divide a bus by 0 0.1 so that's why it won't run this so if we run this it will give us an error so storing variables, I actually mentioned, I actually treated this in yesterday's assignment, actually, in yesterday's class. But today I just mentioned how to assign assignment statement. So to assign a variable in name, we just do this. So for example, Shola now will be one, Ola equals two, then CB equals Ola plus Shola. So that's so if you want CB now, you will see CB equals six, and that's basically Shola plus Ola, which is four plus two. So that's basically that. So if you want to understand this more, you can just check our tutorial from yesterday. So that's that on that. Then there is something I mentioned here. If you see this, I put hash, then I mean 
this pound sign or you can call it a naira sign if you like so this is basically to comment in python for example i'm initializing a string i mean a variable here so i'm saying i'm initializing python does not need to read this part so wherever wherever you put hash or naira sign python will stop reading from that point to the end so for example this line now it will stop reading from this place here after this place the this hash i said don't read this other part just just neglect them that's basically what we mean by commenting in in programming so we use there are different ways to comment in different programming language but we use hash in python so to comment anything now so basically here we initialized shola here then we overwrite it here for example shola was four here by the time i run this if we check Shola again, Shola is already 12 because I've run it twice already. So Shola was adding 4 and 4 again. So for example, if I run this again and I come back here and run this, if I check Shola, Shola will be 8. If I run this again, you know Shola is already 8. If I run this again, it will now be 12. So that's overwriting a variable. So basically, let's just check Simbi. Simbi 2, Simbi is still 6. So now we can assign variable name to any of our variable any variable type string integer float even list tuple dictionary that we've not done you can assign variable name to them so the rules to follow when doing assigning variable this is actually why i'm treating variable assignment again today i didn't mention all these rules yesterday so basically the rules you need to follow it it can only be one word it can only be one word it can use only letters numbers and the underscore character you can't use any other character aside these three types of character the number the letter and the underscore character you can't use the small place you can't use comma you can't use full stop and the like like that it can't begin with a number it can begin with a text with a num with a letter and it can begin with an underscore but it can't begin with a number so sometimes you want to call something by multiple names for example and i say we can only use one word for example let's say i want to call okay abbas abbas space or like yeah let's say you want to check my age equals you want to store my age equals 20 and uh, if i do this it will give me an error so how do i join two words together basically you can do what i call snake casing and camel casing for example if you join two words together with an underscore we call it snake casing so here now we already have abbas or liar to be so it's readable to humans that abbas or liar is 20 and if you want to use camel casing basically what you do is so you want to use camel casing here you just do that's a bus then you use capital letter to begin olaya so olaya sorry olaya equals 20 so and mind you python is case sensitive so a bus olaya is not the same thing as olaya so a bus and a bus like a bus that can start with the capital letter and a bus that start with a small letter they are not the same thing. They are different things entirely to each other. So now, let's treat the input function. Basically, input function is a function to request for response from your users. So if I say name here now, if I write Abbas, sorry, Abbas. Mine, don't mind me using Abbas all the time. My, my name is Abbas, so you will see a lot of Abbas in our tutorials. So here, if I just add a new line here, if I call name now, name, Abbas had been assigned to name because we asked the user for his or her name. So to make it more user friendly, you can just put something like a prompting text inside the bracket, which makes this a function. What makes something a function in Python is the open and close bracket at the end of that particular thing. Don't worry, we'll learn how to create functions on the long run. So identity here, for example, what is your name? So my name is Abbas Olaya. So press enter, then nice to meet you identity so nice to meet you abbas or liar that's basically that so the print function too but the reason why i'm not really using print function in notebook here is because notebook automatically print out whatever i asked you to do but when you are using a normal scripting um i mean a, yes something like let's say sublime text or atom or just any text editor actually or even you, when you are using spider you will need to actually write your print statement so this is how to print so print abbas or liar is the root of this tutorial so that's that on that then the length function length function is just to get the length as in the the number of letters or number of numbers i mean number of yes number of numbers <laughs> don't mind me number of numbers in a particular 
variable. So for example, ident length of identity here is 12. And the reason for that is identity here is above. So, like, so we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You count the space to 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Those are, that's the number of identity. You know, identity is no longer its own self. It is now identity. Something like when you when you are in Christ. Let me just find myself. Wait, find my way back to where we are. Okay, that's that. So length of Abbas now is five. So something like that. So let's now check how to convert from one variable type to another. So here is string. So to convert thirty to a string, just put str. That's how to convert to a string. So let's say you want to add this words together but you remember you can't add a number let me just erase this for now you can't add a number to a string it will give you an error so you just convert this to a string str open bracket so you convert 28 to a string so you say about solaya is 28 years young so that's that on that and still you can convert a float to a string you can convert a string now which is 42 which you've quoted remember when you want to write the string you quote it you can convert it back to an integer so that's that. Then this integer, you can convert a float to an integer. Mind you, it will round it off, not round up. So 1.25 and 1.99 will still be 1. Instead of, well, you know, in mathematics, we have 1.25 will be 1, 1.99 will be 2. But here it will. So converting to float now, that's basically that. Mind you, I remember I mentioned something about putting the small place. So that's how to differentiate a float from an integer. So here to how old are you? So how old are you let's say i'm um, 29 so enter so by next year how would i be so just 29 equals age plus one there's actually another way of doing this but mind you what i'm trying to prove here is you string we i mean input will always convert whatever you give it to a string so if you want to use an integer now what you need to do is convert age back to integer first before you Add them so when you check the next age now it will now be 30 so that's that on that so sorry this tutorial is a bit long but we need to treat every topic we have in our script but try this assignment why does this expression cause an error how can you fix it so i took three plus cup of gary i've actually solved something like this in this tutorial so do this and push to your github repo in case you don't know how to push your solution to your github repo check fibitech.com Check our blog. I will, I will post something around how to push an article, I mean, a code to GitHub to you. So you can comment your solutions to on the comment section below. Or better still, you can just ask all the other questions that you have about, about programming in the, in the comment section below. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe.